Frog Princess and welcome to another log video. This video is a collection and review of Bloom Black. I love my Bloom Black and I have recently been acquiring a whole bunch of pieces. So here goes. Right off the top, we'll start with the Cuddle Throw, which is one of my newer items in a recent haul. And this will be the first time that I've actually opened it up fully and we'll take a look at it in detail. So here it is. It is super, super soft and, and just really comfortable. It literally is cuddle, cuddle throw. I get the name, I totally get it. Um, I do love my soft blankets, especially in the winter. It's not there yet. Notice I'm sweating as always. Um, but I've just been running around gathering up my bloom black. I think, oh, there goes a silica pack. There you go. Um, I think that I got all the pieces, but we'll see in a minute. I'm really, um, probably when I go to put them away, I'll find more, but look at this beautiful colors. I mean, my purples and blues and teals with the greens and pinks. It's just, it's nicely spaced. It's just really, really pretty. And to me, it's very, very feminine, which sometimes is nice because I'm a total tomboy. So you got to have those bits of girl in your life. There you go. So, yes. Beautiful blanket. On the back, it is, um, it's, you know, same pattern on both sides. So there's the front side, actually. It's even more bold. But you can see on the back, which is the little bit more subdued side, if you will, is still very bold and vivid. And so it's not until you flip it over, you go, wow, that's even better. And there it is in all its glory. Beautiful, beautiful blanket. Okay. All right. Sorry, I'm sweating. <laughs> Okay, that's it. No, just kidding. We're only getting started. Turns out I have a lot of blue black already. So the next item is the boxer too, except before we get to looking at that, there's a whole bunch of stuff inside of it. So the first item is a packable puddle jumper. This came as part of a two piece set with the Heather Gray. Heather Gray was the main puddle jumper and the packable was the bloom black and that worked out very nicely for me i would have actually preferred it the other way around just because i wanted at the time i was brand new to lug and i had already fallen in love you know my time my entry timing was perfect for this pattern starting to come out um, but i love the heather gray and that was most of my first pieces were those two patterns so anyways that was a good combo for me so the packable is it's a pouch it comes with its own carabiner on there a little loop so you can hook it on to other things very lightweight. Oh, come on. Come here. Hey, no, no, don't get on my blanket. Come on. Get up. <laughs> yeah, she's just pacing around in the kitchen watching what we're doing. Huh? Yeah, no licky licky. Okay, girl, go on. Yeah, she'll go lay down. <laughs> she just always has to be close. Um, okay, so you just flip that pouch inside out and that becomes the bottom pocket with the lug logo. Um, bottom pocket of the puddle jumper, if you will. And then as you unfold the rest of it, there's your puddle jumper. And it does have all the same basic pockets. So you got your pocket on pocket, except these are Velcro instead of magnet. These pockets are regular. There's no phone pocket and unfortunately, no cargo pockets on the side for drinks. I think that would be a lovely addition to this bag. But otherwise it's darn near perfect. The clip from the outside then rolls to the inside and you turn that pouch inside out so then you can use it as a key clip which is kind of a nice idea. It's got the nice long strap drop so it's a tote style bag and then of course the inside is just the main pouch normal no no extra pouches inside but it does have a trolley strap on the back which is nice. So then to fold it back up you just lay it down smoosh out some of the air fold up the bottom so you have the bottom folded up. Fold the sides in to the width of the pockets on the front. And then you take the straps and lay those as flat as you can together, right up the middle. And I'm breaking a sweat right now. It's not hard work, but here we are. So you write those up the middle and then you fold it in thirds, basically. You fold it to the top of the small pockets it's right there and then you fold it one more time so you have your small pockets there and your big pouch on the back and then you just flip that pouch inside out to tuck it all right back in beautiful and 
actually quite simple. It folds up really nicely right back into its pouch and it's very, very flat and light. So really great for traveling. Um, there you have it. Sorry, I should have grabbed the towel. I just came back from Saturday morning breakfast as usual and I uh, ran around in the heat trying to get all my stuff together. <laughs> It's not really that hot in here. I just, I sweat well. Okay, next we have a chuggy. But I also have the huggy, and it has a chuggy. So I actually had bought these two, the large and small, so 12 ounce and 16 ounce chuggies. I had bought as a set from, actually I bought it from eBay, because I, I missed it on Logan, QVC, or wherever. But that was the only place I could find it, and they were brand new with tags, so. I did buy them that way, but then the Huggy came along. So I ordered the Bloom Black Huggy, of course, and it came with this Chuggy. So I gave, I ended up, I gave the other Chuggy, I gave it as a gift to a dear friend of mine and a new lug nut, by the way. <laughs> she ended up, yeah, so she's already got several lug items, which is great. Um, so those are beautiful. They do have a seam in the pattern, pretty standard for all the Chuggies, but Nice insulated thermos type bottle. Keeps hot stuff hot and cold stuff cold. They work pretty well. Um, and they're nice diameter or circumference. They, they fit very nicely into most drink pockets, if you will. Then your Huggy, of course, can be a belt bag if you want, or a nice crossbody that comes with a strap, which is right now tucked in the pocket. Fits my cell phone. I put my gate key in there and uh, maybe some chapstick and off I go. I don't really normally take money on my walks with the dog, but if I was going somewhere different, I might put a little like card case in there or something. Yeah, but this is great. It's an insulated pouch, and so I put my insulated water bottle. I don't actually ha um, walk with this one because you got to you know take the lid off and whatever. I use my Vera Bradley Sport bottle, which just has a flip top and a handle on top. It has a handle that flips down. It fits perfectly, and it sits the top of the lid just sticks out. So while I'm drinking, it's hanging on my hip, I can just drink and I just drop it and it's it's still hooked on. Lovely, anyways, it works great. Um, but if you put the chuggy inside, it does close up and around that and it has a little cinch latch thing. So that stays in there really, really nicely. Okay, so that's the huggies and chuggies. Next we have, these are in no particular order by the way, it's just as I grabbed them and threw them in the bag. So. This is one we just saw yesterday for the first time. This is the trolley crossbody. I'm not gonna go too, too deep into all of the bags, but we will take a cursory glance at them. Um, they've all been shown in full detail at some point up till now as they came in in part of a haul or unboxing, so anyway. But this one has a no slip grip all the way around that top handle. This is a brand new style. And this is only my second one. I have one in the pearl gray from the surprise box. But there's, there's card slots in that pocket, a privacy pocket inside there. I love that it's a double zip there. You have a pocket on each end. And then you have a pocket on the back, just a plain zipper. And then you have your main compartment forward of the handle there. And inside you have clear view on one side and two cargo pockets on the other. And of course the removable adjustable cargo strap. So trolley crossbody. Then we have the roundabout two in blue and black. And this one is a wallet wristlet crossbody belt bag combo convertible. What I love about this is it does come with that removable wristlet strap. So even though it's to me, it's kind of big to be a wristlet, um, the great thing is that I also have the coupe, which is coming next. And so I can take this wristlet strap and make that one a wristlet. It's much more appropriately wristlet size in my opinion. But this does make a great belt bag size, even though I don't really wear a lot of belt bags, um, as with the coupe. So anyway, it has a pocket on front, which is a zipper. This one is soft line, so that is designated as your phone pocket or glasses. It's your choice, but there you go. Inside the front, you have a cash drawer. You have eight card slots on that cash drawer wall. So you don't have to use it for cash, but it opens up right there. And then you have more card slots on this side. So it's a total built-in wallet. 
You also have a clear ID window and a privacy pocket behind there. Plus, it's a divided compartment. So, like I said, you don't have to put cash right there, but it gives you lots of options. You put cash there, you can put change in the middle, you got more slots and another cargo slot. That is fleece lined. So maybe one for your phone and one for your sunglasses and you choose which goes where. Both of them are zipper protected. Um, and that is a double zipper on there. I do like that because if it's cross you know, you can open it either way. The back compartment opens all the way around end to end and opens up really nicely so you get really good accessibility. This is a plastic lined pocket. It has these straps on one side. I'm not carrying a lot of brushes, but I could put a pen, a chapstick, whatever else there, my hand sanitizer sprays. Um, the lug ones I think are too big around, but the ones I have are skinny. And then you have a mesh pocket over here that is clear view essentially. Now, you can't just put change in this side because these bottom corners, you know, it would come out, but it's not meant to be a change door back there anyway. So that one is a single zipper on the back, but there you have it. And then on the back, you do have a slip pocket. It is not magnetic closure, and you do have your belts, belt loops there and, and a strap right there. So it, I know I said I wasn't going to go through all the details, but it just happens. There it is. Okay, then you have the coupe. So again, I think, you know, this should come with a wristlet strap. This coupe is one of the items that has the um, fabric zipper pulls, but it has regular little nubby zipper pulls with it. So anyways, it works. Um, in the back, you have a privacy pocket and a clear ID window. And the front pocket, you have front pocket. That's it. Very, very simple little... Um, I say wristlet, it's not, it doesn't come with a wristlet strap, but I will use it that way. But it has the belt loops on the back, and this one doesn't just, it's not just an illusion. This loop is actually bigger than this loop, so there's a little bit of crookedness, but yeah, imperfect. C'est la vie. Anyway, yeah, so we got the coupe. And then we have the Tandem Zip. This is one of my first lug wallets, but... The thing about the tandems, I don't know why, they're backwards. They're just backwards. Every single lug, wristlet, and wallet that I have, the zippers open this way. Not with this one, it opens the other way. That's ridiculous. Why, why is it different, why? Because I could see maybe why you did this with the zipper, although it should be the other way. So it should open from the top so that I can like sneak in there, grab a card if I want. But no, I have to come all the way around, open it completely. <laughs> Anyways, so you have lots of card slots. You have a clear ID window. You have a pen slot right in the middle. You've got these big pockets behind, which is just great. Oops, can't get my finger in there. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful, very functional wallet. And you can put a whole bunch of stuff right in there and then zip it closed if you can get by that backwards zipper. <laughs> Then it has this pocket right in the front, which is your phone slip if you want to put your phone in there. Um, like I said, removable wristlet strap, and then the backwards coin pouch zipper. Yeah, there you go. It's backwards. I want to love it, but it drives me crazy. So, But then you have the Rodeo, which is a cute little wallet. And as I mentioned, see the zipper opens this way, like all of them do. I prefer that direction anyways. This one also, though, opens backwards in this regard, but it works. You know, you got your side slips, you got four card slots. The bottom one is a clear ID. On the other side, you have several card slots and bigger slots and then more card slots. This does have like that secret pouch in between, but it's wider than a normal card. But, you know, so you got to figure out which of the pockets you want to put your cash in or you can put things there and zip it in. Great, great size though, and it has this removable wristlet strap. So there's another wristlet strap option to Frankenstein your coupe or other bags as you want. Okay, then I got the Eco Shoppers. This is my first ever set of Eco Shoppers, and I just love the blue and black. And Eco Shoppers is a great way to get a taste of a pattern that either you're not sure about or you just want to have it in your life, but you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on a whole bunch of bags you're not going to use because everybody can use an Eco Shopper some way, some day. I mean, everybody needs groceries, everybody needs, you know, you can. I'm not trying to sell you anything, just for the record, but yeah. So this was my first, that cracked the seal on that, and now I have a whole bunch of them. And then, 
I have the heart pouch in bloom black. Beautiful pattern placement. I'm happy with that. And what is this? This is a big old strap. Oh, that's the boxer strap. Okay. So then we have the trolley. And I have not used these trolleys yet. Well, I haven't traveled anywhere anyways. But I have the regular and the mini because who wouldn't want the full set, right? Um, so we've seen the trolley crossbody. Here's the actual trolleys. And let's compare the size because to me, subjectively, I would put the crossbody between these two. Let's see if that's true. Uh, yep. <laughs> so there you go, side by side by side. So the trolley crossbody is ever so slightly taller, but width-wise, it is definitely in between the two. So here's the small trolley, the end to end, and you can see right here, it's about almost two inches there longer. That's kind of cool. Another difference, these have black zippers and black hardware. The crossbody has the gun metal. I, I don't find that to be a problem at all, um, but just an interesting difference. Yeah, okay. Also, this is um, no slip grip and these are just regular nylon handles. So anyway, that's cool. Differences and similarities. The trolley, of course, is the same basic. It has pocket on each side, big pocket in the front, lots of pockets inside. The larger one has also the pockets on the back and the trolley sleeve area there. Inside, there's your pockets and plastic lined. So I'll put that back inside. My beautiful, beautiful trolleys. Trolley, not bloom black, but trolley was my very first lug piece and that is all it took for me to fall in love. One of the greatest things about lug bags for me straight away was just the smoothness. That like slick as butter, those, the hardware and whatnot, and, and just the overall feel. For reference, my very first piece was Riverwalk Navy, which wasn't my first choice of patterns, but it was what was available in that style that was the best of what was offered to me at the time. So I learned a quick lesson on love. If you want that pattern, you buy it before it sells out because it may or may not come back. There you go. So, um, the Boxer 2. This was one of my first travel bags I bought from Log, and I absolutely love it. This is currently designated in my planning brain for my next trip, like specifically flying, not my next trip because next week I'm going in the RV and I don't need a fancy travel bag. But for my next flight, this is carry-on number two. So I'll have my 22-inch spinner or my puddle jumper spinner, one or the other, um, and, and this. So if I go with my regular non- special brand spinner that's purple so it matches perfectly some of this pinky purple color and if i go with the puddle jumper spinner wheelie two that is black so also it matches it doesn't have to but it does so okay but the boxer two it's a great great size it will hold a ton i mean look at the base of that thing that is huge but it's squishable you know it has the stuff you see don't mind putting it on the floor in the airplane I mean it's not my preference but it is what it is you put that under the seat and because it's soft-sided you can kind of squish it or put on the side you know those ways it will fit it will make it fit <laughs> um, there are certain airlines where this would not be compliant with their particular baggage restrictions but um, barring that issue I would I would definitely take this as my number two so what is this bag this one is one of the convertibles so we'll get to the carriage options but you have these two pockets on the front. They are padded so you can put like light tech and whatnot in there. One of them, I believe it's this one. Yes, this pocket is also RFID. And when you bring these two zippers together, they have that lockable loop right there. So you just put a small travel lock and you can lock those. Right behind it, you have a magnetic pocket, nice and big. So you can put folders, magazines, iPad, laptop, whatever, right in that pocket. Your phone pocket on this one is zipper, and it's in the corner here. Not quite hidden, but it's a little more discreet, so. Still fleece lined, standard. Phone, sunglasses, whatever you wanna put there. Two big cargo pockets on the side, very generously sized. You have no slip grip on the underside of your carriage handles, which do fit nicely on the crook of your arm. Not so great on your shoulder. It does work, even a big girl, so. That is one option. That would be my least favorite carriage option. But on the, you have of course the removable adjustable crossbody shoulder strap 
and it does have the pad on there, which also can be removed. Um, and then you have on the back, your backpack straps. So they hide away nicely when you're not using them. You have another zipper pocket here for the top half. It has a fleece line pocket inside as well, plus two pen slots and a key clip. And it's just nice, it's a good pocket. I cannot wait to use this. It has a trolley strap and it has another compartment here, which is walled off from the interior of the thing. So for me, that is my trolley compartment is what it's gonna be and or whatever else I decide to put in there. It's ventilated, so it can be a shoe compartment. I doubt I will put shoes in there. It's not a primary thing, but it is what it is. And then there's your straps for the backpack. These do not tuck away on this bag. It's okay, they're fine. You know, they're fine out there by themselves. Put my double zipper on there. Okay, so that's the outside, inside. Um, it's, it's great, it has a privacy pocket, two big cargo pockets, and then another privacy pocket on the back. But just huge capacity. Huge. Now, when you're not using that, that trolley compartment, you can Velcro that stuff up against it so you can fully utilize the interior of the bag without that taking up space. So, yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of stacking space here. Okay, the next one. Try that. Okay, we'll go with this one next. I got dog hair because it's on the floor. Okay. So this is the Wings SE. Uh, it is a beautiful size. I would say this is a medium handbag, but it's a large size of medium. I mean, it's not small by any means. You open it up, you have three clear view ID windows so that you can put pictures or cards, or whatever you want right there. And you have two pockets in here. You have this horseshoe pocket, which opens up. It is insulated, obviously. Very cool idea. So if you're someone that has to carry around medications or you, you need a snack or you know you got little kids or you just want to keep a pouch of cold water whatever you have this great size right here and when you don't need insulation you still have a lovely pocket right there um, there you go right behind that you have a zipper pocket and that um, it, it's the whole front front side behind that so there you go the the insulated pocket by the way has its own gusset so it's not sharing space with the rest of the bag this is a magnetic, hidden magnets, by the way, which I love. If it's gonna have a flap, let's have it be like that, for sure. Has a nice foam pocket, cargo, or lug standard there, cargo slip. And then on the back, there's another big zipper pocket. This one has a fleece-lined pocket, so for me, that's my sunglasses, two pen slots, and then you can put anything you want in there, masks, a wallet, whatever. Inside, you have two cargos on the front and a, a privacy pocket on the back. And that's it. Very, very nice, but look at the capacity there. It's just a great size, I think. And obviously I haven't used it yet. Man, I bought so many bags so fast. I'm really gonna have a time catching up with everything. It's gonna be fun. It will take time, but it's time well spent. Okay, the next one is the Camper SE. This one um, is pretty recent as well. Yeah, SE. Um, it has all these great pockets. It has big pocket, little pocket in front. These don't have their own gusset on this one, so they do somewhat share space. The front one is fleece lined, which is great. It's very generous size. You can put your sunglasses or your phone, but there is also a slip on top for that. It is a horizontal slip, this case. So either way, you got your phone in one and your sunglasses in the other, whatever. The second pocket is just a pocket, no nothing in there it is rfid though this pocket so that's cool so one two three right there on the back you have another big zipper pocket it covers the the width of the bag this bag is quilted on the back excuse me i have the hiccups back as well as the front and then inside i love this configuration actually very excited to try it first thing is you have a key bungee in here that's cool it's a great size bag for that. I would call this a large handbag. It has a clear view pocket, nice big single pocket all the way across. And that's on the front. On the back, you have, okay, this is hard to see. I've done this before. So you have two slips. You have a slip and a slip. Inside this slip, you see there's two pen slots right there. The other side is a clear view pocket. 
but it has a gusset, so it actually has a little more give to it. You can put a little bit bulkier things than is sometimes permissible in that size pocket on, on the wall. So there you go. Yeah, love this bag. Can't wait to try it. I would size-wise, capacity-wise, consider this bag about the same size as the zip liner. Yeah, so let's do that one next because it's basically the same. So if you look at them side by side, obviously they're a little bit different dimensions, but very similarly sized capacity-wise. Different organization, but yeah, if it was to lay that flat. So very, very similar in size, which is I think why I like them both so much because it's a great size for me for this. Yeah, I've taken to carry a lot of things around lately. <laughs> So, talking about the zip liner, big zipper pocket here right in the middle. It's just a pocket, it has no organization, but it does go all the way to the bottom there. It does not have its own gusset, so you're sharing space with the inside, if you will. You do have a nice foam pocket here, and then you have the regular pocket on pocket lug beautifulness right there on the bottom. And yeah, that's it for the front. There are no side pockets for water bottle. Oh, I take that back not the normal ones. There is a zipper on one side and it's an insulated pocket. So it doesn't have to just be for water bottles, but the small chuggy does fit beautifully right inside that pocket. And so you have insulated bottle in an insulated pocket. You certainly can put a non-insulated thing in there as well. Lots and lots of options, but it's discreet on the side. So that's nice. The trick though, when you're using that pocket, it does eat up your inside space. Um, so it's a trade-off. Before we get to the straps, let's look at the back. So we do have one more pocket on the back, a nice zipper pocket, just a pocket. But there are two pen slots right there. So nice organization. It's got this linear quilting on the back and the front. Yeah. So the straps. Yeah. <laughs> You've got this nice shoulder bag, right? It is not a crossbody unless you do some Frankenstein work, but it's a lovely, it's, it's a great fit, great strap drop for me, very, very comfortable. And then when you wanna carry it as a backpack, it's now a backpack, yay. When I wanna carry a crossbody, it's crossbody again. I mean, not crossbody, shoulder bag. I guess if you're a little tiny person, you could crossbody that, but not me. <laughs> um, inside, you have Two big cargo slips there, just regular, and a privacy pocket on the back. It does not, it does have a key bungee, um, but on this other side, you can see what I was talking about with that pouch from the water bottle pocket. It, if it's full, that eats up that side of the bag a little bit, but if it's empty, you just push it off to the side and you don't lose any capacity whatsoever in the bag. So, this was one of my very first lug bags uh it wasn't the first i already said that's a trolley but one of the first handbags because i just you know i was trying to figure things out i watched a lot of videos i watched lug nut tv and qvc and meredith lug unplugged now so yeah i watched and everybody else i watched all the ones i could get my hands on and this was pretty new at the time but yeah it just made sense for me so i got it in more than one pattern but that was one of the first and then yesterday, we just took a look at these two bags. So these two, I really won't go into a lot of detail, but if you wanna watch that video, it's yesterday, you can find it. Um, so we have the Ranger and the Compass. And side by side, we did uh, looked in detail at both of these. They are very similar, but there are some distinct differences, but both excellent, excellent bags. And uh, I can't wait to use them. <laughs> I laugh at myself and I do get questions about it, but I bought every single piece with purpose and intention and I love all of them and I do plan to use them. It's just going to take a little time because I've got them all so fast, but yeah. And then the last item just happens to be at the bottom of the pile is the Via 2. This is a recent re-release of new colors and patterns um, and it's not that old of a style, frankly, but it's, it's beautiful. I really love the convertibles because I like having options. Because on different days or different situations, I like to change it up, sometimes by necessity. But it has the big bottom pocket here. We have recently looked at these in detail, but we'll still take a look. It has two pen slots, but otherwise a nice big open pocket. Your runway envelopes and whatnot fit there, clear views. You've got your pocket on pocket. 
foam pocket, nice handles. Um, they are a relatively short strap drop there, but it's big enough to put on your arm, not all the way up to your shoulder that just doesn't have space. They're long enough, but because of the way they sit relative to the top of the bag, you sort of, you lose that almost two inches of strap drop there. But when they do lay flat, they lay flat. So when you are using it as a backpack or as a crossbody, then those are pretty much out of your way, even though they're not removable and they don't have a pocket of their own to hide away in. On the back though, of course, you have your pocket for your straps. You have a trolley strap. And there is also, a, okay, there is a zipper pocket here as well. So unlike the canter that's Velcro, this one is a zipper pocket and it hides away nicely right on the back. It is not insulated. I think it's the Via, the Via, not the Via 2, I think it is, that has the insulated pocket. This one is not insulated. But your backpack straps, the, the rings do tuck in on this bag, so they hide away. And they do stay pretty well hidden once you tuck them in. So if you're not wanting to use those, you can get them out of your way. So they're not going to catch on to things by accident. Okay, but it's a little stiff. It needs two hands on this one. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so you can't even tell that they're there at all. And this pattern hides everything really nicely. So that's the, the back, the sides, obviously big cargo pockets. Um, this one does not have a magnetic closure, but these are very generous. You know, some of the bags are just bigger, and this one is quite nice. The top is a framed top. It does have a hard frame, like an actual metal piece that goes around there and opens up like a large mouth bass. You can see the key bungee. You've got big cargo slip, and that is fleece lined. On the other side, you have your clear view, and that's it for organization. The base of the bag is quite large and it has that flip down semi-rigid bottom that folds back up and allows the bag to lay relatively flat. So that is the Via 2 and that concludes Bloom Black. I hope that was as fun for you as it was for me. I know you didn't break a sweat like I did, but <laughs> here you go. Um, now I'm going to go put this away and I hope you have a great weekend. Take care and don't forget to wash your hands. Washy washy. Bye for now.